Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some more Pittsburgh Steelers tape breakdown and analysis. A little different view today given the injuries that Pittsburgh's dealing with at safety. Minka Fitzpatrick, Trent Thompson, DeMonte Casey, currently suspended. I'm, I've been recording this before his appeal. I'll assume he's out for the Bengals game, but we'll have to wait and see. So, all that said, Patrick Peterson in the Colts game pressed into action. For my charting that I do each week, 34 snaps at safety, may have to fill in again this week. How did he play at safety? How did he look? Let's talk about it. Before we start, if you guys could like this video, also subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out the site SteelersDepot.com. Would really appreciate that. So four examples of Patrick Peterson at safety from this game. Here he is, number 20, the free safety, the post safety. This is the very first snap after Minka Fitzpatrick went down, which was two plays after DeMonte Casey was ejected, and you see the uh, Colts targeting the middle of the field right away, and Peterson immediately having to make the play on Alec Pierce. RPO, Colts love to run him, run pass option, and they can run true concepts off of it, not just screens and flares and something quick. They're going to run here basically a post in Pittsburgh, this you know three-deep shell, cornerback to the top, outside leverage, stem outside, break inside on the skinny post, slant, whatever you want to call it. And so Peterson, a nice angle, wrapping up. Not an impactful hit, but it gets the job done. That's all that matters here on the big body receiver in Alec Pierce to take him to the ground to limit Yak. And so it's a new thing there to play free safety. Have to drive and, you know, plant, read, plant, drive, and then come downhill. You see Peterson, the footwork, trying to find the angle here exactly, just kind of different from his life over there at corner. And so a nice job there, though, to ultimately take a good angle to the football and then make the tackle on the wide receiver. Looking at the touchdown that wide receiver DJ Montgomery scored, here is Peterson to the top of the screen. And this one, there's maybe some debate to be had about it, but when you're playing safety in your last line of defense and you're on the goal line, you got to really run through this play. And Peterson, I'm not saying he you know, dogged it or anything, but it's a different mentality when you're the safety you're that last line of defense there. There's Peterson on this cross. And now there's other issues. It's not passed off well. There's miscommunication by Pittsburgh on this play. You got Porter passing off the crosser to Roberts or maybe one of these DBs that should have broken off. I'm not entirely sure. But Peterson, I would like to see him run through that. Is it going to prevent the touchdown? Probably not. But I don't want to see him slow up there at the end. You got to run through that one on the goal line. So just kind of a different mentality when you are that last line of defense, you got to make that play or at least try everything you can to make that play. We'll see Peterson slow up there just a little bit, coming up a little high. He's got to come low. He's got to really be forceful, throw a shoulder into the receiver and hope that knocks him back. If he falls forward, it's probably going to be a touchdown, but I want to see Peterson have to really kind of come screaming in, come low, instead of kind of throwing the high shoulder, which is not going to do much to give yourself any chance to prevent the plague and other issues here, miscommunication, that's the central problem, but just the point on Peterson adjusting to that new spot, he'll have to work on that. When you're playing the free safety, the post safety spot, the angles you take are really important, especially in filling the alley or coming downhill against the run. It's a different feel uh, than if you're playing cornerback, and so we're going to see this toss play, this 31-yard gain uh, by the running back Tyler Goodson, and again, other issues here. There's a, a black I contain. I don't know what happened here. You got Quentin Nelson in space, blocking almost no one out there. That's that's always a problem for your run defense. But just watching the angle Peterson takes, it's not really a great one. I think he has to do a better job here to track where the play is going, diagnose it a bit quicker. And he's kind of behind this one the whole way. It never really has a chance to impact it. So again, the issue is not all on him. Certainly not. But just watching the angles and the footwork and trying to read that, you know, read the run from free safety, not something he's had to do much. He has played some safety in some sub packages and dime packages. They're almost always pass plays, uh, rotating the deep half and deep middle, that kind of stuff. But uh, typically coming downhill to play the run, it is foreign to him. So I'm not trying to judge too harshly here, just pointing out if he's going to have to play some safety against the Bengals on Saturday, things to work on the angle here. Uh, not great. And again, other issues, Mark Robinson not having the speed at the edge, um, but just looking at Peterson in a vacuum, some things to work on. That's one thing I noted. Last example here is Peterson to the bottom of your screen and a nice job to read the route here of the receiver over the middle. I think Minshew was looking to, to go there on third down on that crosser past the sticks. 
forced to check it down. Pittsburgh does get the stop here to force fourth down. I think I forget if the Colts went for it on fourth down or not. But besides the point, um, just good vision to to see that crosser coming back to you. So to look at it here from the top view, you see this three by one look, and so we're watching the tight end stay in the block. And so Peterson, there's no threat to the outside. And so you anticipate, okay, it's three by one. You got a bunch to the top here, the tight end, the nub. He's staying in the block. TJ Watt, something's going to come backside out of this bunch look. And so get your eyes there. Take that away. And that forces Minshew to go underneath, short of the sticks. Pittsburgh makes a tackle, gets the stop on third down. So just good recognition of, you know, again, personnel, formation, which you're likely to see here. Post-snap, tight end stays in. Let's get our eyes somewhere else. Something backside coming out of that bunch look. Pick it up, take it away, force the quarterback to go somewhere else. We'll look at it one more time from the end zone view. Showed it once before, but you'll really watch the eyes here, both Peterson and Gardner Minshew, as he wants to throw that ball, then has to come off of it. So Peterson, tight end stays in, getting her eyes to the backside. Who's going to be coming across out of that bunch look and then picking that up? Minshew wants it, sees it's taken away, and then checks it down underneath James Pierre. Uh, playing one lone dime snap in this game as Pittsburgh really got thin there uh, coming in to make the tackle. Landon Roberts cleaning it up as well. So four snaps from Peterson, some good, some bad. Obviously maybe a bit better in coverage where he's more used to playing and playing safety there in some of Pittsburgh's dime packages throughout the season. The run support, the angles, things to work on. If Pittsburgh calls on him again, I don't know what their plan is at safety. I imagine Eric Rowe will be one component of that. Does not appear Trenton Thompson will play if he's out. And Mink is out, and if KZ does not play either, if he's still suspended, then you're down to Miles Killebrew, maybe Elijah Riley if he gets activated off of injured reserve. He was a full participant in Thursday's practice, and Peterson as well, maybe a Darius Rush in some sub packages. He's a corner, but has played some safety a little bit in in dime look. So um, just just good for Peterson though to to be able to give you those reps. If, if he wasn't capable of that, if you did not have him, I don't know what Pittsburgh would have done. Um, Probably a lot of, I don't know, kind of different nickel stuff with a bunch of corners on the field. A lot of single high type, slow, type looks with Killer Brew. Peters incited playing some safety in training camp when Minka missed about a week with a family. A personal issue uh, helped him. So uh, while I think Peterson had a tough start of the season, he was pretty bad the first month or so. I think he's kind of settled in. He has played well. Porter shadowing top receivers probably takes some of the pressure and some of the most daunting matchups off of Peterson. Uh, but he's a really intelligent guy, and I've enjoyed listening to him on the podcast that he does and breaking down the game and being honest and being candid and uh, talking about his process. So uh, will he make the eventual move to safety? A lot of corners, as they get older, tend to do that. Peterson has remained at corner through his age 33 season. We'll see. But you can take glimpses at the traits of him being able to convert to safety. And again, just valuable Pittsburgh has him to be able to get through this Colts game as ugly as it was. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you guys could like this video, also subscribe to the channel and check out the site SteelersDepot.com. Would really appreciate that. So thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon.